Hi everybody and welcome back to Face of a Matter. It is your girl Jay here and in today's video, shout out to the new angle. I don't know what this looks like right now, but all I know is I wanted a new angle so I could talk to you guys. But anyway, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Jay. And yeah, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you wish. But in today's video, let me go on and tell you this video is not sponsored. I told you guys once I got my hands on the, I don't know if it's called decadence or decadence, 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 one of the two. I told you guys I was going to review the Diva Curl Decadence line. Um, I did do a review before on the regular No Poo and the One Conditioner, and I will link it somewhere for you guys to see if you guys are interested in seeing that video. Um, but I did have some good results. I had some things that I liked and some things that I did not like. But I told you guys once I got my hands on my order, I was going to review it. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I have not opened these bottles, so these are brand new bottles. So what I have here is the No Poo Decadence, the cleanser, and then I have the One Condition Decadence. Decadence? <laughs> this is the One Condition Decadence with Moisturizing Milk Conditioner. And then I have the Diva Curl Leave-In Decadence. And then also um, with this right here, these four actually came in like a little box together um, for like $44 or so. So that I wanted to try this out just so I'm not getting like a huge $40 bottle for one of each. You know, I wanted to try them out. But in that packaging, I also got the Diva Curl Build Up Buster, which I was super excited about trying out because I've heard so many good things about it. So this is actually in there and we're gonna try that out today. And then the Diva Curl Super Cream Coconut Curl Styler Define and Control. We also got that one as well. And we're gonna try all of these out today. I'm not sure what I wanna do as far as my styling goes with my hair, but we're just gonna see and just try out the products just so I can review them for you guys. I haven't really figured out what I'm gonna do as far as showing you guys how I'm washing it, but I think I'm just gonna do how I did last time and just talk you guys through what I'm doing. So I'm gonna switch cameras here. I'm gonna take you guys to the bathroom with me. So if you're ready, let's go on and get started. All right, so here we are again with the poor lighting. So sorry again. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just set up my camera like I usually have done before in the bathroom and just show you guys what I am doing just step by step. I guess it's just the best way to do it. Um, so the Build Up Buster is what I think I'm supposed to be using first. And I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna use the Build Up Buster first. I'm gonna rinse all this out of my hair and then I'm gonna use the Build Up Buster first because that's just what makes sense to me. Okay, you guys, I know I look crazy. I know I got mascara up under my eye. Just as I expected, I loved the conditioner. The shampoo I loved as well, super soft. Do I know a difference? Um, I, could def I, I can't really tell a difference with the No Poo Cleanser um, because both of them made my hair super soft. Um, after like immediately after the first cleanse my hair was just as soft as can be that build up buster I could definitely tell my hair got like a lot lighter so I'm definitely gonna end up buying another bottle of that and I don't know what it is but it's like y'all my curls never pop up here in the front and this is the curls by themselves they never curl they're usually like this after I wash they're like flat 
but they're curled up so i feel like it helped so i'm gonna actually leave this in for a little while i'm gonna put a cap on my hair um as the other one says i don't think it says any specific time to leave it in okay it doesn't say how long i should keep it in so i'm gonna keep it in for probably about 10 minutes just like i did the last one all right so the build up buster has like the silicone texture which honestly i think it does say it does on the bottle but i don't know it was like as soon as i used it it just seemed like my hair seemed so much lighter i don't know maybe it's my mind i don't know i just know i like it a whole lot i like what it did for my hair then going straight in with the no poo cleanser of course like i said in my other review i love the no poo cleanser it's pretty much like a co-wash because it doesn't really lather up and strip your hair all that type of stuff um the no poo cleanser i loved it it instantly made my hair so soft once it touches my hair and i just started lathering it up and all that stuff you know going through my strands or whatever my hair just instantly felt soft. I rinsed it out and my hair was left soft. So that's nothing new um, because I did have the same results with the other one, the original one, but I do like, it's like a, I don't know what it is, it's almost like a different smell or something. I don't know what's different in it. I'll have to look at the ingredients just to see like what decadence what does that even mean? Hold on. So then going in with the original one conditioner from the Decadence Lime. Y'all. I know I got this cap on it, but y'all. My hair right now is just loving that stuff. Like I did not want to stop putting it in my hair, but y'all. My curls never pop this much just with a conditioner. And this smells like baby powder, like baby. It just, oh, it just smells like a baby. And it's just, oh, like, I do not want to wash it up. That's why I'm so excited about the leave-in conditioner. So excited about that. The whole thing is to not use shampoo because it shampoos, you know, kind of strip the oils and the natural oils that your hair needs. Um, all of that type of stuff, which I do get. I don't agree with it to a complete point because I do feel like sometimes you may need that stripping a little bit um, just to kind of get backed up stuff. But then again, I guess that's what the Build Up Buster is for. Um, but I don't know. I'm just, it's different. It's new. I'm still learning stuff with my hair. But all I can say is like, I'm really liking it, okay? I'm really liking it, guys, okay? All right, y'all. So finally washed out the conditioner i put a little cap just so it could catch some of the water i just didn't want my hair to be completely like dried off so i do have some water in this cap Ooh, and it's going down my back so now we are going to dive into the diva curl leave-in decadence ultra moisturizing moisturizing all right so we're gonna actually i think the best way to do this is probably do this in parts all right so let's go in Oh, this smells good too. And I'm just gonna go, matter of fact, let's take that off. I'm just gonna go through the back of my hair and we're just gonna saturate my hair with this leave-in. My hair just feels incredibly lightweight, soft. Like, I don't even think it would be fair to my hair if I don't use this anymore. All right, so now I'm gonna go through and I wanted to moisturize my hair first before I did this. So I'm gonna actually pin my hair up now and I'm gonna see how some detangling goes. Oh, 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 oh,
this is about how much I lost, which is not too bad. I still hate to see any hair leave, but it has to shed at some point. I don't know, but my curls are just looking alive there. I can just tell my hair is loving this. All right guys, so I know in my last twist out video um, using the Diva Curl products, I did end up adding my Meal Organics Avocado Hair Milk, but this time I am not, simply because I've already used the leave-in conditioner, so we already have our moisturizer. So I'm just gonna go in and detangle my hair, just make sure there are no kinks or anything. That's just gonna make the process of this even faster. So I'm gonna go ahead and split this section in half, and then I'm gonna just pin one side up, because of course when we're doing two strand twists, we're gonna work in parts, because of course I can't twist them all at once. I always like to make my back ones super little. That's just what I always do. All right, so this is the Super Cream Coconut Curl Styler. It smells really good, it smells just like coconut. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of cream and go from there. So already, I like it better than the other one. The other one was just the regular styler. I liked it, but I didn't, I don't know. It was just something about it. And then after I finished, I could just tell that I wasn't gonna get any moisture. So I'm hoping that this one being coconutty and all that good stuff, hopefully this will give me that moisture that I was hoping for. Now you don't have to make your twist as small as I'm doing. Um, just because my hair is still on the shorter spectrum, um, I do make my twist pretty small just because I like to have definition and that helps me get the definition. All right, so one section is done. They are feeling super moisturized and beautiful. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and finish everything up until maybe about this section up here or up at the top or something just so I can finish off the video. So I'm gonna go do that and then I will be back. All right guys, so I'm almost finished. I'm, I'm down to my last section. And when I tell you, this has probably been one of the quickest times I have done my twist. Like it's been maybe 40 minutes. You can see I'm almost out of product. Yeah, this one was the Touchable Curl Definer. And then this is the Coconut Curl Styler that I'm using. So this one didn't give me that much moisture. So, but this one came, um, the one I'm using came with the Decadence line. Yeah, like usually this takes me about like an hour, hour and 30 just depending on the process that I have taken to actually do my twist, like with the whole detangling situation. So far, so good. Like I'm gonna check out the back twist cause my back twist usually dry a lot faster. Can you see the moisture? Oh, and there are like, look at this. Um, again, I didn't use any oil. I didn't use any other moisturizer. I just strictly used the Diva Curl stuff. So, so we're gonna see how this comes out tomorrow. We're gonna see how this comes out tomorrow when they're dry and I'm gonna take them down. So I will see you guys on tomorrow if it is in the Lord's will and we will take down the twist and see how they come. All right guys, so I am back and yeah. So I have been meaning to film all day today but I have been feeling terrible and just like cancel. You see, I'm trying to do something with the lipstick. You know how people rock lipstick with no other makeup? That's what I'm trying to go for. So if I look stupid, if I look like a clown, please don't embarrass me and leave me in comments. Just know I was trying to spruce myself up, okay? Okay, so it is the next day and my twists are completely dry. And off the jump, guys, it feels the same way like the other one did. Like, what I can say, there is definitely more shine to my hair than the other twisting cream and products. But as far as the moisture, like my hair just feels mad dry. But I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt and I'm gonna put a clip in it and we're gonna untwist them and we're gonna see how they look and I'm gonna sleep on them just so I can kind of get that bed type of hair and we're gonna see how they do. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start unraveling them. I mean, I know I didn't waste my money because I like the other products, but as far as this twisting cream, I think I'm just gonna have to like use my regular concoctions. Um, the no poo was good. The conditioner was just A1. The leave-in conditioner I loved. It was literally almost like using the conditioner over again, but just not as thick. It did have a different texture, which I didn't mind. It was a little bit more lightweight, which was nice. Um, the Build Up Buster was great, and I could definitely tell that there was a lot more moisture 
within these um, decadence products. So I'm definitely happy about that. And what I can say, this is definitely gonna help me use my products in moderation because those products were expensive. Like I told you, all the products that I got, the No Poo Cleanser, the Conditioner, the Build Up Buster, the Tiny Bottle Build Up Buster, and the Leave-In Conditioner, and the Small Bottle of that Cream. And again, four of those products came in one set for about 40 bucks. My total was like $70. So this is a very expensive brand. So I do have to be smart and wise and just use products in moderation because I did kind of go haywire this time. All right, so just like any other time, I'm gonna go ahead and pick out my hair. See, look, got one twist, didn't even undo it. But see, this is one thing that I do love about the Diva Curl products. You see how just bouncy my hair is. Like, I love it. I just love how much body it, it, it has. And yeah, like... I can't explain it guys, like it's just good. It just leaves my hair lightweight and just free and bouncy. Like if the product doesn't do anything else, it definitely gives it that lightweight feel. It just, I just feel like it makes my hair just, oh, I can't even get my words together y'all. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and take some hair oil because my hair needs it. So I'm gonna put some in my hand. I'm trying to do too much. I'm using the wild growth oil because it's not super thick and heavy. So I don't wanna like overdo it. But I do want to moisturize this into my scalp because my scalp feels so dry. Now, because it is nighttime and I'm gonna end up laying back on these, um, I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna undo the twists. But just for the sake of the review, just to kind of give you guys the final verdict, I love it. Like, I love it. My hair feels good. That's one thing I can definitely say that I love about this uh, brand. My hair is just very bouncy, very bouncy, very beautiful very easy to work with it's missing some moisture but that's you know that's the least of my worries i could always add some i could always use my um jane carter solutions there's nothing that that product can't do the only product that i can say that probably would not get my money again would probably be the um cream, the twisting cream um then again i feel like all the products work hand in hand so then again maybe but everything else is definitely gonna get my card swiped again for it because it's good. My hair has never been this, like, other than the other time I used it, my hair has never been this just full of body and bouncy, and I love it. I don't wanna undo all my twists yet. But yeah, guys, so this is the end of the review. I know this one wasn't as, as the other one, but all I can say is Diva Curls, to me, it's it's what it's really cracked up to be. It's, it's hyped up for a reason and I can definitely see why. So other than that guys, thank you all so much for watching. I will list every single um, product that I did have even down to the little box that I got from the other video and also this one that I got with the four products included. I'll link them all down below so you guys can get yours. Hopefully this uh, brand will do you as well as it did, as it did for me, excuse me. And yeah, so I'm loving it guys. So I will catch you guys in the next review. Um, please share this video if you have anyone who is interested in the Diva Curl products and just wants to see how it did on someone's hair, you know, sort of like mine. Again, I don't fully know my hair type, but just from speculation, I guess I'm like in the 3, 3C, 4A, maybe, I don't know, <laughs> somewhere along the lines. My hair is not the silky type, just put it that way. But anyway, so I hope this review was helpful if you were interested in the Decadence line. So yeah, that's my full-on review, guys. So thank you so much for watching. So as always, if you're new, I'm Jay. And if you're not new, I just thank you so much for supporting me with whatever I do here with my channel. I love each and every one of you to know in. And until next time, God willing, I will definitely see you all in my next video.